Field Museum workers are asking President and CEO Julian Siggers to recognize their union. My coworkers and I are asked to do so much in service of passion, science, and a noble cause. But as passionately as we feel, our passionate work is not met with commensurate pay. Organizers say a majority of the museum's employees have signed union authorization cards in their effort to formally unionize. Workers say they're unionizing for higher wages, career stability, and clear paths for advancement. A group of employees at Chicago's Field Museum say they have enough support from their co-workers to start a union. Employee Carl Bittekofer. We believe our union is the way we can end the radically different ways we are valued depending on what department we're in or the work that we do. The employees have asked the museum's CEO to volunteer recognize the union that would fast track the certification the union would represent about 330 museum employees from grounds keepers to visitor service representatives to research scientists field museum workers want to unionize and they've asked for recognition from the head of the museum most of the 330 employees have agreed to form a union called field museum workers united they have just sent a letter to the ceo asking that their move to get labor representation be acknowledged no comment yet from the museum Workers at Chicago's Field Museum seeking to unionize delivered a letter to the head of the museum today asking for voluntary recognition of their union. A majority of the 330 workers that would make up the proposed union have signed on to form a union, according to organizers. The letter asked for a response from museum leadership by Monday. There was no immediate comment from the field. The union would be affiliated with the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees. A group of field museum employees announcing today they now have enough support from their co-workers to start a union. The employees are also asking the museum CEO to voluntarily recognize the union. This would fast-track the certification. The museum tells WGN they're reviewing the request and will have an answer shortly. The union would represent over 330 museum employees from groundskeepers to visitor service representatives and research scientists. View workers gathered outside the Field Museum this afternoon to demand management recognize their union. Meanwhile, representatives from the museum did not immediately respond to claims by those workers that management has adopted improper anti-union tactics. Respect our voice, respect our choice. Anders Lindahl is with the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, which is leading efforts to represent more than 300 museum workers in contract talks about issues including pay, benefits, and job security. Field museum workers have been building their union over the last several months, and they have announced that a strong majority of their co-workers have signed their union cards. Lindahl says the workers have sent a letter to management asking for recognition of the union. He claims management has brought in anti-union lawyers as well as made misleading statements to workers in an attempt to dissuade workers from unionizing. Jim Goodis, 105.9 WBBM. We're Employees at the Field Museum want to unionize. They've asked the head of the museum for voluntary recognition. The museum says they are considering the request and will respond shortly. Hundreds of employees announced last month that they're forming their own union. They say they have faced low wages and high turnover, which leads to a greater workload. Well, no comment yet from folks at the Field Museum to allegations from workers there who say the cultural institution is illegally trying to keep them from forming a union. Respect our voice. Respect our choice. Anders Lindahl is with the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, which hopes to represent workers at the Field Museum in contract talks over issues such as pay, benefits, and job security. He says field management has taken several steps to thwart unionization efforts. Workers are being threatened with loss of their benefits or loss of their flexibility if they exercise their right to form a union. They are being given misinformation and falsely told they're not eligible for union representation. Lindahl says workers have sent a letter to field management asking it to recognize the union. If that doesn't happen, Lindahl says the workers will seek intervention from the National Labor Relations Board. Jim Goodis, 105.9 WBBF.